All right, guys, today we're going over the calibration of the Einscan H with the blue laser and structured light functionalities. Now, the HX is awesome partly because it comes with this awesome Pelican case, but inside this case, what you'll find is this calibration card. It's a little bit bigger than usual, uh, very interesting, but I like it. So when you just open this up, it's magnetically closed. I'm gonna open it up and you'll see we've got all these crazy dots. Now, you'll also see this is the jig that we put on the table to set it at the right angle like that. So, I'm gonna actually flip this thing upside down and we're gonna go into the Xscan HX software that comes with the scanner. And I'm gonna go back here, instead of scanning modes, I'm gonna go to calibration. Okay, so we're in calibration mode and I'm gonna get this set up. So as you can see, it's just this little thing and that's exactly where I'm gonna set it on the table at that angle. So I'm going to put it right here, match it up pretty good. There we go. All right, now in the actual software, I'm going to do standard calibration. What this is going to have me do is actually point the scanner at the crosshairs in the middle, just like it's showing in the screen, and press the button. Now it's going to have me get measurements from several distances. So I'm just going to slowly back it away at this angle. I'm going to turn it at a 45 degree angle, same deal. You see that little bar there, it's as I pull away, it's checking. So I'm going to start back here and I can do the same thing but backwards if I want. Get each distance, boom. Now I'm going to go at this angle, just keeping it inside that square. And then, once again, from this angle. All right, there we go. We got that calibration done. It's literally super simple, quick, and easy. That was all real time. Uh, and it's going to do a little bit of chunking of the numbers. Calibration succeeded. So we've got a deviation of 0 0.028615 pixels. I'm going to hit next. And then we're going to do the laser calibration and the white balance. Now for the laser calibration, I'm actually going to take this and you notice the back is white. We're going to use that for the white balance in a second. But I'm just going to set it flat on the table here and then just follow the pictures. That makes it real easy. I'm going to hold it perpendicular like this. Make sure it's opening all the way. And then I'm just going to press the button. Now it's shooting the lasers out. I don't know if you can see that on camera. You see those little things right there going? Yeah. All right, it's doing the grid, which you're seeing on screen. Now we're just gonna back away very slowly. Looks like I missed a little chunk right down there. Got that. Okay, and just keep going up, keep going up, and bada bing, bada boom. Laser calibration succeeded. And now we can do the white balance, which is really just going to take a sample of the white so that it knows what white is supposed to look like, just like a professional camera. Boop. Right there. And let me go down closer. Gonna bring it up through these. And at a certain point, on the white balance, it just clicks. So you notice that it didn't have the little green boxes. Um, it's done. White balance calibration succeeded, and now we're good to go. Now, occasionally, every few months, or really if you take this scanner into a totally new space, or you take it outside or into a new shop, it's a good idea to calibrate it. And we can actually just do the quick calibration. So we'll go into here again. And then we'll select quick calibration. We'll just leave this up. Put this at the right angle, back on the jig. Uh, about there. And then I'm just going to hold it. We get, we get the distances. Boom. All right. 
calibrating once again. It's one of the easiest calibration, much easier than calibrating a 3D printer, I'll tell you that. All right, deviation is even less now, 0 0.021542. Okay, now on the HD, the Pro HD, uh, you'll notice that it has an accuracy function, uh, but this one just has these four different modes and you're good to go. So now we're done. All right, so that is calibrating the Einscan HX. Very similar process for the Einscan H uh, and it's that simple. That's really all there is to it. So let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below. If there's anything I didn't show here you'd like to see and we'll be doing more FAQ style videos answering your questions in the very near future. We also have high temperature, high performance 3D printers, polymers, materials, tools, accessories, support, print, service, and all sorts of other kind of industrial high performance stuff. So if you need some of that, give us a call, shoot us an email, or check out our website at visionminer.com. Anyway, if you like this content, let me know by hitting that like button. Subscribe while you're at it. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.